What's going on guys? So in this video, I wanna show you a dropshipping store. It's an AliExpress dropshipping store that's made half a million dollars dropshipping in the pet niche. And the reason I wanna show you this store is because I truly believe that everybody watching this video has the capability and the potential to see this same level of success. Not to take anything away from this store because obviously they've been very successful. They've done a really good job. Um, you'll see as we go through the video because I'll show you everything behind this business, their Shopify store, best-selling products, where to source those products and what sort of profit margins, that sort of thing. Um, but what they're doing is very basic in my opinion. You could definitely build on this and take it to that next level. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through this whole business, show you everything they're doing. And then at the end of the video, I'll go through, in my opinion, what you could take from this video to put into your own business and how you would build on here um, to make it even more successful. So the store I've found is on the Exchange Marketplace and it's called Pets Love Surprises. Just to take you through some background information to give a bit of context to the video then, it's being sold by somebody called John. That's not really relevant, don't know why I said that, but the tags are Sweden, so I'm assuming, I'm assuming he's Swedish. However, I believe he's drop shipping to the US. He started this because he was interested in e-commerce as probably a lot of you guys are thinking about getting started. So he decided to jump into the pet industry. His tasks for running this business are fulfilling orders via DSs, which is the Oberlo replacement, advertising, which is mostly Facebook ads. And he also has some emails um, set up behind scenes. Um, sequences, looking for new products, customer service, which I'm guessing is probably his biggest time factor and answering comments on social media. So this is just one guy who's running this entire business himself and he's made half a million dollars in total, just over half a million dollars. And he also made his best month this time last year or coming up to this time last year, which was December 21, which we can see he did over a hundred thousand dollars. That's another reason why I wanted to put this video out here today or show you this actual store is because the pet niche is a great niche for Q4. The pet niche was made for Q4. So if you're looking for a niche and a particular product to go in for into, um, then I'm a big believer the pet niche is a great one to consider. I've also featured some really good products, some proven, tried and tested, kind of like verified products in my last few videos, which are in the pet niche. So make sure you go check those out if you're interested. So we founded the business about two years ago and the time to run this business is four hours per week. So not bad considering he's built it to over half a million dollars. The average revenue is 25,000, average sessions 18,000. These are Shopify verified, um, so there's no Swiss in these. Um, I'll put fake ones in. The only one he has to put in himself is this one, which is the average profit per month, which is two and a half thousand dollars. Given that I've already seen what its best selling products are, this is believable. They're quite cheap products. I'll show you them in a second, but still not bad for four hours per week, making two and a half grand a month. Um, it's still pretty good to say he's built it up on himself, taking care of every aspect of the business. So 10% profit margin, which is about right. Drop shipping wise, you should expect it to be a little bit higher, but as I'll show you in a second, the products are quite cheap. His expenses each month are the $80 Shopify plan. So when you hit sort of 15,000, 20,000 a month in revenue, it's actually cheaper to pay the more expensive Shopify plan because then your transaction fees are cheaper. Domain, $15 a year email 260 a month so that'll be clavio or whoever he's using he's spending about 14 grand a month on facebook i'm assuming that's in his heyday when he's having his bigger months and then his transaction fees are a thousand dollars a month there's no physical infantry as i've already explained these guys are drop shipping from aliexpress and lastly then before we take a look at the store his mailing list is about fifteen thousand people this in itself is quite valuable he should be able to make one to two k a month um, alone just on that mailing list. So here is the Shopify store in question. They have quite a peculiar choice of colors, to be honest. Um, whenever I'm helping people with their pet stores, because it's quite a soft niche, it's quite a loving niche, I tend to stay away from quite harsh colors like black and then really kind of contextual colors, so black and yellow or like color combinations. However, he's done half a million dollars, so I'm not gonna argue with him. If you haven't guessed already, it's the Debutify theme. So this in its basic form is a free theme. So it just goes to show you haven't got to spend a lot of money on a fancy theme to make some money. And then from this point onwards, everything he does is pretty textbook. It's pretty achievable. Like I mentioned in the intro by anybody watching this video, it's kind of like standard practice. So at the top, he has the different collections. He has a sale tab to take 
people to the most desirable products, which I'm assuming he's trying to sell. He has a track your order page, which is an important part to build social proof and so show people that you're a legitimate business. And then he has a blog here. This is interesting. Blogs used to be quite popular maybe four or five years ago. Um, but now not so much, they're not really that relevant. He's gone to the extent of actually writing a blog, which is pretty cool, but I can't see any value or what this kind of brings to the table in terms of making this a successful business. His main image at the top then, or his hero image, if you want to call it that, is just a stock image, which he's probably got from Pexels, which is free. He's got this as seen on social media section, not seen anybody call it that or kind of title it that, but this will just be a select collection, which he's pushing. Um, now he's got these featured in these different companies. Now I did a quick Google search for each of these and I couldn't find any connection. So whether this is legitimate or not, I'm not hundred percent sure. I've seen a lot of businesses do this in the past to try and piggyback off the kind of social proof and trustworthiness of these brands to kind of help piggyback them for their own businesses that he might be legitimate. I just couldn't find the links myself. He's got some featured collections. He's got another big image advertising, free shipping, some more products, and then 30,000 plus happy pet parents with some text testimonials. And then he's got this nice little section here with the different icons, just advertising different points or important answers or questions that the customers might be asking. What he does really nicely though, which I don't see a lot of people doing is the actual footer itself. It's not a massively important part to your business. However, every little attention to detail I like to think adds up um, and makes a big difference at the end of the day. So he's got all his um, kind of legal policies. He's got shipping and FAQ policies. He's got a contact us page. I'm gonna show you that because he does a really nice job of that. In terms of service, he's got something about COVID-19 too. And he's also got clearly his refund policy, which I see a lot of people leave off of their own stores. So his contact us page is really nice because it's almost like he's talking to you one-to-one. -one. Um, so we love to hear from you, some emojis. He's got his email address on there and he's also also signed it off him and his partner by the sounds of it. Even though the store is being sold by somebody called John, I'm not sure where the connection there is to Andrea and Paolo, but there you go. Below this, he has a contact form, which is default free to use for any Shopify user. And then below this, he has an hour store. He has a physical address with some opening hours and dates. Again, I couldn't find any reference to an actual physical store. So I think he's just kind of putting across that sort of perception um, that he has actually got one. However, I couldn't find any connection or reference or proof of this myself. That being said, then let's take a look at his best selling products. So we can go to products. We can go to best sellers using our Koala inspectors, which is really handy. I'm gonna open up the bubble brush. Um, so we'll take a look at that one first, but then I'll also open up another product, which I wanna show you, um, which is this Ice Max. I've actually sold this product myself in the past because I am a big user of these. Having a German Shepherd myself during the summer months, this is a must have in my household to help keep my big um, black German Shepherd nice and cool. However, this being the best selling products and this one we're gonna focus on first. So he has 84 plus reviews, Anybody can do this. It looks like he uses A reviews or even looks reviews to import these from um, AliExpress, which is where he's selling the products from. It's $12.99, which is just really, really, really cheap. This is why his profit margins are so low. So if I was him or if I was you looking to take this and kind of build your own version of it, but make it better and more profitable, I definitely have these same products on there because they're obviously selling. He's done half a million dollars, but I would look for more expensive products which with more margin in there. So instead of making two and a half grand a month, you need to be getting that closer to kind of 10 grand a month because once you pay taxes and then you pay yourself and all those sorts of things um, then two and a half grand is not going to go a long way if you want some ideas for products check out my last few videos on proven facebook ads and q4 product ideas some of those are pet products with some great margins that are currently selling really well today so if you want to try and get a business built asap and you have everything ready to go check out those videos because there are some great products moving through his product pages then we can see again everything is pretty kind of textbook he has a sticky a to c button i would get rid of these tags here they're not doing anything for him when it comes to helping people make a purchase and then he goes straight into the reviews which is interesting there's no 
product description straight into the reviews. And then as we go down, as we can see, everything is kind of built on social proof, five stars, another quotation from a testimonial, the multi award winning bubble brush is the perfect bath in solution. I'm not sure whether it is award winning, but again, it kind of paints that picture of social proof and desirability for the customer. And then he has a handy gift demonstrating exactly how the product works. He has a kind of like before and after an old way and new way, which is hyping his product up, making it look better than any other solution. An app, there's an app on the Shopify app store called Gem Pages, which has one of these kind of pre-built into its templates. It's a really good idea because it helps you come across as the authority and original seller and designer of the product. As we come down, again, fairly textbook in terms of product page layout, GIF, followed by title, followed by two to three line description. And then he's got a few extra bits down here, such as in stock, which is kind of true it's kind of bending the truth i'm sure his supplier has it in stock on their shelves it's not in stock on his shelves i'll show you his shipping policy in a second where he quotes one to two weeks i keep saying he it could be a she running this store where they where they quote um, how long delivery is going to take he's got the offer of an upsell here but to be honest given my experience with people reacting and putting that much thought into finding other products um, he's probably not going to get much uptake um, on this offer he's got a spec package includes and then just some more trust badges frequently bought together recommended to you he's not even removed this from his theme it shouldn't be there um, so it just goes to show as long as you kind of do the fundamentals um, correctly then you can still make a bit of money this is his shipping and faq then now a common question i get asked then is what to do about your shipping times should you put them on shouldn't you put them on by far the best thing you can do is instead of avoid it altogether and have no information on your store at all, you should be honest and upfront because at least then the question is answered for the customer. Customers who have unanswered questions and unsureties about a potential business are gonna leave that business and not go and shop with them. Whereas if you're upfront and say orders as they do here, no hidden fee guaranteed, Orders can take seven to 14 business days. People have that question answered. They know when to expect their product. And more importantly, when it comes to your Facebook page feedback score, it's not gonna be as low. And the higher you can get that, the better, because then the better your Facebook ad results are going to be. To finish the video off, let's take a look at their Facebook page because this is an important part. A lot of people leave their Facebook pages dormant. I'm not doing anything. And you still can make your business successful. However, I'm of the opinion that if you're running Facebook ads and somebody comes onto your Facebook page and your last post is from six months ago, it doesn't look very professional. So all you need to do is once a week or more if you have the time to do so, um, is not update your cover photo. <laughs> um, it's just put stuff like this. I'm here to fluff up your day. Brilliant engagement. We can see only five likes, only 11 likes, but everybody likes a picture of a cute dog or a cute cat. That's exactly what they're doing. 38 likes, 123 likes. Father and Sunday, 156 likes. This even got a few comments, 19 likes. That's all you need to do, especially if you're, in a, if you're in the pet niche. That's another reason why the pet niche is such a good one because it's so easy to come up with content. Watching Over Her Babies, a picture of lots of different puppies, 400 likes and 59 comments, that's crazy. And so with that being said, we've seen every aspect behind this business. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you found it more valuable. If you want to build on this idea, then take what I've just shown you. Use a similar-ish design, of course. Make it your own, though. Use your own color schemes, other names. Don't just copy and paste descriptions and that sort of thing. Make sure you make it your own. Put your own stamp on it, but take the core kind of aspects from it. So have a personal contact us page. Make sure there's lots of social proof. Make sure that all the contact info is on there, like physical addresses, that sort of thing. But then to make it even bigger and better and more profitable, go for products which are a bit more expensive and definitely as in demand. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.